When I'm not working on sharks, the reality is I'm a self-professed fish geek. I wanted to be a marine biologist ever since I was a little kid. But I suppose my fascination with sharks and rays really started when I began working in West Papua in Indonesia, which is really a sharktopia. Big aggregations of whale sharks, manta rays, wobegons, and I even found a few new species of walking shark there. And ever since that time, that fascination has just continued to grow. I've had a large number of unforgettable encounters with sharks underwater, but I suppose the one that most stands out was with a little female whale shark less than six feet long, which is a very rare thing to find. She was being harassed by a big pack of, of giant trevallies that were literally ramming her. She saw me, came over, uh, that wiped off the, the, the giant trevallies, and she literally followed me around like a puppy dog for the rest of the dive, which was just a really magical moment. If I were to be a shark species, I think it would naturally be a Telomictris erdmanii, which is Erdman's coral cat shark, a new species of cat shark that I discovered back in 2013 and a couple of colleagues named after me. In terms of the shark that I would least like to come face to face with, I'm tempted to say bull sharks, which I really don't like seeing underwater in murky waters. But actually, after all of this time diving with Kina, I'd have to say it's the white sharks. They are unquestionably the most terrifying of any shark that I've seen underwater. My most memorable experience with the Great Whites, other than watching them try to pluck Kinna out of the, uh, the mecha shark, I think it's been with some of the stroppy young males, the, the ones that are kind of under 10 feet that have been trying to get into the cage with us. That's just been a terrifying experience. I think what fascinates me most about great white sharks is that despite being one of the largest fish in the ocean, we know almost nothing about their mating and reproduction. And of course, we aim to try to rectify that soon. It's really important for us to study sharks' behavior because the more that we know about how they behave, the better we can mitigate negative interactions with humans. And of course, that includes trying to minimize the number of shark attacks out there, but even more importantly is for us to find a way to reduce the number of needless deaths of millions of sharks as bycatch in our fisheries. So the more we know about their behavior, the better we can design fisheries gears or regulations to prevent those needless deaths.